To react is GOP Congressman and Judiciary Committee member John Radcliffe. Congressman, I had the honor and pleasure of serving uh, with you in the previous Congress. Thanks for being here with us this morning. Uh, if the Republicans win back the House, Kevin McCarthy is suggesting they should do expungement. Do you think that would happen? Well, Jason, Pete, thanks for having me on. Mm -hmm. um, I think as everyone saw, uh, 197 out of 197 Republicans thought that this was an unfair impeachment uh, and voted against those articles in the House. Obviously, we'd have to gain control of the House to consider some sort of resolution of expungement. But I do think um, that as more details come out about how the origins of this impeachment really began, I think there's every possibility that will happen. Um, the record has not been put in public view about the contacts between Adam Schiff, his staff, and the whistleblower, and the profound impact that their contacts with one another had on the Inspector General's um, investigation of this matter. The fact that those contacts were concealed from the Inspector General. I think um, as that becomes more public, and I think it will, I think the perception that this was an unfair impeachment will move to one that it was perhaps a coordinated planned impeachment or even a fraudulent impeachment. And if that happens, there's every possibility that there could be an expungement action taken in the House. Well, Congressman, to that point, more information coming out. This week on Wednesday on Capitol Hill, you had a chance to question Christopher Wray, the head of the FBI, and ask him about surveillance. We're going to play that exchange and get you to expand on it. This was illegal surveillance with respect to at least several of these FISA applications because there was not probable cause or proper predication, correct? Right. To the point of one of my Democratic colleagues that there was no fraud on the court, illegal surveillance and changing evidence to conduct illegal surveillance is the very definition of fraud on the court, is it not? It describes conduct that's utterly unacceptable. So based on this, do you anticipate even more sunlight on the process that led to surveilling the candidate? That. I do. I do, Pete. And you talk about, you know, planned, coordinated actions against the Trump campaign. Remember where this began when that idea originally came out that the Trump campaign uh, was being surveilled by the Obama administration, and its officials. It was called a conspiracy theory. Then it moved to an acknowledgement that, yes, there was surveillance. But as Jim Comey said, this idea of FISA abuse is a bunch of nonsense. It was done lawfully. Now you have an admission by everyone, by the FISA court itself, by the Department of Justice. You just heard the FBI director, the inspector general, Michael Horowitz, that at least with, rep with respect to part of the surveillance <laughs> done, these FISA applications didn't have a proper predicate. Therefore, they were illegal surveillance. And I think that um, that's a profound um, you know, admission by the FBI director that was just heard there. And I think it's very clear that the Obama administration um, began and then continued an illegal surveillance uh, action against first candidate Trump yep. and then President Trump. Yeah, the one thing I do hope that happens is that there's an application of justice and that somebody gets charged in doing all this because there's a lot of people making referrals, but we're not yep. seeing justice. And they laughed when he said they were being wiretapped at Trump Tower. Congressman, we got to leave it right there. Thank you, you so Thanks much. Appreciate me. it.